Hello friends, welcome to the healthcare today. Today we are going to speak about self-assessment of lung function. Many times we have doubts in our mind whether our lungs are working perfectly or not. At times when we climb two fleet of stairs then also you feel breathless, you feel out of breath. So many times you want to get yourself tested. So through this video I am going to tell you two three techniques where you can test your own lung. By understanding your symptoms you also can understand how when to contact a doctor whether you are having problem or not. So the first and foremost thing which I want to tell you is 7-11 cycle. So lung is responsible for two major functions. One is inspiration, one is expiration. Many times you can see smokers or any other patients who are having lung disease, they have to wait, take breath or sit at one point of time, gas for breath. Usually people with COPD, they try to open their mouth, try to make per slip so that they can increase the time of expiration. You can see some of the patients blowing air through their mouth. So this is a natural adaptation because in COPD and asthma when the disease is very severe the airway which is supposed to be open during expiration collapses. This is called dynamic compression of airways in expiration. So how do you do this? How do you improve your lung function? How do you test yourself? So I, I already told you 7-11 cycle. The easy method to do is take a stopwatch, look at your watch and start, start taking breath inside for 7 seconds through your nose. And once you complete 7 seconds, start expiring with your mouth for 11 seconds. So this is how you do it. Once you are able to do 7 seconds of inspiration and 11 seconds of expiration, that means your lung is in good condition. So the other one which we also, we also see is breath holding exercises. Many times once a patient is planned for surgery, especially when they are planning for general anesthesia, we ask the patients to undergo PFT. At times patients, some patients due to Parkinson's, some patients due to extreme obesity, they are unable to perform PFT. In these cases, the anesthetist measures their lung capacity by using breath hold time. So the normal breath hold time is easily calculated by using a stopwatch. You can just look at the watch and start, it, start taking a deep breath and hold your breath. So the normal breath hold time is usually more than 40 seconds. But any time less than more than 25 seconds is usually given clearance for surgeries. Anything less than 25, we do not usually give clearance or we explain the patients the risk involved in general anesthesia, especially when the breath hold is less than 25 seconds. So this is also another form of access where you can see your lung function is good or bad. Now many times post surgery, the surgeon or a doctor who is visiting you, they say that please do a spirometry. So they, this is spirometry is called incentive spirometry where there are three balls where the patient is asked to take deep breath and try to hold the balls on the top. Or at times, you turn the machine upside down and ask to blow your breath out so that all the balls can be lifted. So this is one simple exercise, especially post-surgery because the lower part of the lung doesn't expand. You try to open up your lung so that the lung function increases. This can be also normally used to increase your capacity so that the you can assess yourself if the values are very low or if you find yourself not able to do this. You can consult a respiratory physician who can help you. We care about you.